So somebody had asked me if I could do a close-up shot on some of these pomegranate flowers. I think that's a great idea. It's a truly beautiful flower. Here's a quick update on the ashwagandha plants. I recently filmed me putting in the ground. As you can see, they've all taken very well. Grown up quite a bit now. And another viewer had asked me, what is this plant? This is ashitaba. I grew these from seed, and I actually have a couple dozen more I'll be putting in the ground in a day or two. These rings that you see around some of my plants out here are actually rings off of a whiskey barrel. I dismantled a few of my barrels. They started getting old and rotten. And I thought to myself, might as well take these rings and put them around some of the plants out here. Make it really easy to contain fertilizer and also water directly to the roots. Tomatoes starting to grow up. I've got about 20 or so tomato plants scattered all throughout the design. The jujube trees are in flower and it looks like we're going to be getting a decent harvest off of these trees this year. If everything works out well, I will do a follow-up video explaining more in detail uh, the pruning process behind these trees. But I think I've nailed it. Here's another one over here. And again, we've got a lot of flowers starting to develop. And this tree is about almost nine feet tall now. And you can see where I made my top cut last year at about five and a half feet. So all of this is new growth. And man, you hear those birds tonight? How beautiful is that? I could sit out here and listen to that for hours, just relaxing, meditating. Artichokes are primed for the picking right now. I'm either gonna come out tonight or tomorrow and harvest a few of these, steam them up. And check out the flowers on Cardoon. These are gonna burst wide open. It's a nice, beautiful lavender, purple flower. The bees absolutely love it. You gotta be careful, these things are sharp. So I came across this amazing bonus find on this Google culture mound today. I'm surprised I didn't see this earlier. But I was just giving this mound a little sip of water. And down in the middle of the mound here. Check it out. I think I'll harvest a few of these and maybe some mushrooms for breakfast tomorrow morning. So here's an interesting little patch of greens. There's one, two, three, four different plants over here. 
and these were all grown from seed collected from one of my Merritt Collard plants and you can see they all have slightly different characteristics this one is growing up really tall almost looking like a tree collard this one is shorter and has more rigid curly kale type leaves and is staying shorter to the ground this one has skinnier leaves and almost looks like a combo of dino kale and merit collard and this one back here really is taking on some of the purple tree collard characteristics you can see the purple on the main stem there but they all taste delicious I've been using the leaves in my smoothies making salads This two-year-old apple tree is putting off quite a few different fruits. I'm going to need to come out here and thin this down to maybe just a few. And allow this tree at least another year to focus on its foundational growth. And I can't wait for these plum cots to start ripening up. So check this out. If you've been following along, you may have watched a video that I had made. It was a little Kung Fu inspired skit called Grow Some Food. And in that video, I took some of my previous spaghetti squash harvest, and I basically just threw it on the ground, chopped it up with my machete, and covered it up with soil. And it grew plants, no problem. And this right here is actually an extension of that. This is two volunteer spaghetti squash plants, all resulting from that same planting. It was right over here where I planted the original. And those plants vined out and somewhere along the line dropped a couple seeds over in this area so pretty cool it's been an absolutely beautiful day nice and cool mid 70s we got a real break this week from the heat uh, we were up in the 90s last week so it's been a great few days to just get outside and get some of the chores done out here but it is friday the sun's beginning to set and i think i'm gonna head inside now upload this video and so with that, I hope this video finds you and finds you well. Take care, everybody. Have a great weekend.